Hello and welcome to the second episode of Most Asked Questions in Premiere Pro. Let me take a look at my huge Google page again and oh, today we're gonna talk about editing music in Premiere Pro. In fact, music is extremely important and it can completely ruin your edit if done wrong. But you don't need to worry anymore because I got four music editing tricks in Premiere Pro. Number one, you have this piece of music and you wanna make it longer but the music ends here. Don't try to put something together yourself because believe me, that will sound terrible. Instead, you wanna use the remix tool to extend the clip for as long as you need. Premiere's AI will know exactly what to do and there you go. That's amazing. Now tip number two, don't use flat generic stock music. This will 100% ruin your edit just like you can hear right now. Instead, I really want you guys to check out my favorite music library from Audio. This music is made specifically for creators like us and that's something you can't find anywhere else. They have an AI tool called Link Match. All you need to do is copy the link of your favorite song, for example, Post Malone, Drake, whatever, and then paste it in here. If you need instrumentals, you can check Ignore Vocals. Click on Search and then Link Match will find similar songs that you can use in your socials without having to worry about copyright or anything like that. Oh, and Audio is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Now, with the Lifetime Music subscription, you can access the library for the rest of your life, and that for just one-time payment. What an opportunity for me. And on top of that, you can get an insane discount by using the code Premier Basics LT. But you gotta be fast, guys, because the deal is almost over. And now, back to Premiere. Tip number three, making your speech more audible. To do that, add an EQ to your music track. Then, once it's open, enable the high-pass and low-pass bands. Simply drag them a little more towards the middle. This will cut off the super low and super high frequencies of your music which makes your voice more hearable. First, let me explain how an adjustment layer actually works. And that, of course, without turning down the volume of your music. And here is tip number four. Make the music duck every time you speak. To do that, select the audio clip with your voice in it. Then go to the essential sound panel and click on auto tag. Premiere will detect it as a speech clip. Then go back to the timeline and click the music clip. Now in essential sound, click auto tag again. Now it will detect your clip as a music track. Now on the bottom, enable ducking. Then scroll down a little and click on generate keyframes. Now if we go back to the timeline you can see these keyframes generated automatically and your music will duck every time when you're speaking. With the other controls you can of course adjust the sensitivity, amount and fade duration of the fades. There you go. Next I want to show you amazing music effects in the next lesson on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.